Hundreds of people are waking up without power in the Far East County this morning and thousands more have been warned that they could lose power too. Let's get to 10 news reporter Nate Holmes who is live in Alpine. Nate, at least there's a little bit of good news here that fewer people are now in danger of having their power shut off. That's right, but as you can hear right now, though, the winds are still pretty constant this morning. It's been like that since we've been out here uh, since 430 this morning, and you can see just how heavy that wind is blowing out here right now. Uh, as in addition to hearing it through our microphone, 18,000 customers could still possibly lose power, but that number is way down from the 34,000 that SDG&E was originally expecting. And residents in the area say, though, you can never be too prepared. It's dangerous. And if you have never experienced a, a fire that can wreck an entire town, it's it's time to to pack and just talk to any of your neighbors. Residents and firefighters are all on standby during this red flag warning. According to SDG&E's website, over 300 people in Hakumba are waking up with no power this morning, and a little less than two dozen in Descanso and Cuyamaca are also with no electricity. Now, the company says that those communities will not have their lights back on until Saturday. Flashlights and batteries are in good are good to have in case the power does go out. One reminder: be cautious out on these roadways. We can feel the wind just uh, swaying our lights i track back and forth even while it's parked. So if you're driving and you feel that it's too much, of course, the best thing to do is just pull over. Live in Alpine, it's a Holmes 10 News.